The northern mallards, geese moving, northern mallards moving. Which way? <laughs> the ecology is so out of whack. It's so out of whack. Unbelievable. On January 8th, 50 degrees. I think I'll go mow my lawn tomorrow. Mow it on Christmas. Mow it on Thanksgiving. I've never mowed my lawn in October here. <laughs> Still growing. It's nuts. The last 10 years have are insane. And everybody's just going to chalk it up to coincidence. What changed so radically? Everything. The drought started 2011. The starfish wiped out started in 2011. The salmon collapse started in 2011. The heat bubble of the Western United States started in 2011. The Great Salt Lake started to go dry in late 2011. The longevity in this country, life expectancy expanding, started headed the other way for the first time in American history, 2011. What the hell? Why 2011 did everything change? Why? I mean, I, I can't figure it out. I can't understand. Huh? I can't... I don't get it. What changed in 2011? You know? This Great Western Drought? The Kevin, I'm the guy that named it. The Great Western United States Drought. You know? You call it the Mega Drought, whatever. It's called the Great... Huh, what, what, what happened? All this. When did it happen? I skied right there on 4th of July in 2010. It flooded here in 2011. And then everything reversed. What the hell? The whole ecology, more animals, more life forms, especially in the Western United States, the Pacific Ocean, have collapsed in the last 10 years than the previous two million combined. What the hell happened? I don't know, man, but the migratory birds out of my house this morning and the ducks last night, they're migrating in the middle of January. This is traditionally the coldest week of the year here. They're moving. They're on the move. Are they moving north or are they moving south? That's a very good question. This time, by the way, they hunt them quick for January. What? Yeah. They should have banned honey while the Great Salt Lake's crashing and their numbers are so low. They're on the move. This time of year? What? They're in Mexico. They've already made it south. These are migratory birds moving in for the first time right here. These ones. You can tell by the altitude they drop in at at evening, right at the sunrise. That's when they move. They're scouting the area. That's where they circle. The, the ones that have been here for a while, they don't circle. They've been here enough, they just dive in. They scout it, the migratory ones. Wow, what a sight, huh? How beautiful is this? Look at this. Is it spring? Is it fall? Is it summer? Sure can't be the middle of winter in no Utah. What? Wow. I, I don't know, but something must have drastically happened in 2011. Something we don't understand. We don't know what it is. Plutonium scad. What do you think? What do you think? Something must have happened. Something must have happened. Something must have got into the ecology that we don't know that's never happened before. Something had to happen. Something that we don't understand. Something that's never happened before. All great knowledge is persecuted and laughed at, but we know that this whole catastrophe, this acute, radical nightmare, this heat bubble in Western Night, the Santa Claus, the Great Pacific Genocide, all this, we know that it started in 2011, and it's gone on for a decade? Something crazy must have happened in 2011. I cannot figure that out. Can you? Can you? Did a meteor hit the Earth? Something happened for the first time that's never happened. Never. Did 900... Exxon Valdez blow, spill, 
something acutely radically changed. I can't figure it out. Can you? Can you? I cannot figure it out. That's why scientists are mystified, they're baffled, they're puzzled, they're stumped, they're perplexed, they're bewildered, they're alarmed. We'll get right back to you. Well collapse. These are migratory Canadians. Look like they're headed. <laughs> what? Is this even possible? It's unheard of. In the middle of January in northern Utah? Something crazy had to happen. Those are dropping in. These are migratory birds. That's why they're coming from that altitude. They're not locals. There's a few that stay. What? I, I can't figure it out. Can you? Can you figure it out? Uh, that, scientists are mystified. They're baffled. They're stumped. They're perplexed. They're bewildered. They're alarmed. They're stumped. We'll get right back to you. We'll cut up the wells. All the gwells washing up dead, the sea lions, the seals, we, we can't understand it. We can't get it. What about this virus in the starfish? Just a virus. The guy told us, just a virus. God, we've dealt with a lot of viruses lately, ain't we? Those are migratory. This is their first time in. This is when they come in. They need to rest on their trek. Look at that, moving in. Unbelievable, right? These are not ones that have been here. Migratory birds moving. Well, we got open water, we got open grass. They're moving. Unbelievable, right? You out on the Great Salt Lake? No, it's gone dry. Unbelievable, right? January 8th. How oh, beautiful. Oh, my God. Look at them all, move in here. Northern mallards, 